Pete Buttigieg has been on leave from his job since August after adopting a child paternity leave, they call it, trying to figure out how to breastfeed, no word on how that went. But now he's back in office as the transportation secretary, and he's deeply amused, he says, to see that dozens of container ships can't get into this country. Okay, I consider myself a lifelong learner. I like that people even older than me still learn things. You just saw Tucker Carlson learned what paternity leave was. It only took till his late 40s or whatever. He still hasn't learned how to pronounce Buttigieg's name, but there's still time. You know, the administration is still fresh. But anyway, what you saw there was a cable news host with an audience of millions every night making a casually homophobic joke about a cabinet secretary. A politician who on the merits and on the policy, I'm not a big fan of, I don't know Cenk isn't a huge fan of. But Tucker had to make it homophobic, he had to make it about uh, about his identity. And um, it's also nonsense, he talks that he's shocked that there's paternity leave. You will be equally shocked, I'm sure, to find out that Fox News has paternity leave. Um, Todd Pirro actually announced earlier this year, he's from Fox and Friends First. He took six weeks paternity leave, that's the, uh, the program that they have at Fox. Jesse Waters did it as well after uh, the birth of his uh, third child. And uh, let's see, Pirro said at the time, I cannot thank Fox enough for providing all fathers who work here with such a generous paternity leave. And uh, I saw another message and I want you to bear this in mind because Tucker isn't just being casually homophobic. He isn't just mocking the idea that a father would want to be near their kid after a birth. He's implying that it's not manly. That there's something wrong about you that you would want to do this, certainly if you're gay and you want to do this. And I saw a quote that I want to read from Todd Pirro. And I just wish that Todd Pirro could say it to Tucker Carlson and we could see Tucker Carlson's response to it. Todd Pirro said, this experience has changed me in a profound way and in ways I won't fully comprehend until my daughter is older. But for now, that smile coming from the crib each morning, immediately followed by morning snuggles is what I will cherish the most. There is nothing better. Or if you're Tucker Carlson, you're being a wuss, you're wasting your time. Why are you doing this? Are you gonna learn how to, to breastfeed? It's pointless, just send the mom in there. Look, there's a lot of problems here and we're gonna talk more about paternity leave in general, but feel free to dive in. Yeah, so there's two major issues here. Although John brings up a great point about the third issue, which is, oh, it's not masculine to love your kids and wanna spend time with them when they're born. I mean, these guys are lunatics. So, but all right, the two major ones are, one is homophobia. He's brazen about it, That's that's, if you will, he's out of the closet with his homophobia. So he just says, oh, paternity leave, what is he gonna breastfeed? I get it, he's gay, I can't breastfeed, can't breastfeed. <laughs> and then, you know, you see the right wingers of social media reacting with, ah, he's joking about how, you know, about gay people. Wait, how does that make it better? <laughs> and by the way, are they friends? Are Tucker Carlson and Buttigieg friends that I don't know about? So, oh, no, no, he's just he's ribbing him. him, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they're not friends. Buttigieg is not happy to have that uh, joke slash slur. And then, you know, when I pointed this out again on, on social media, right wingers right back in, oh my God, you're demonizing us. No, no, wait a minute. You can't say that gay couples shouldn't adopt, shouldn't get married, sh by the way, shouldn't have uh, sex at all in some of the laws they wanted to pass, and, and shouldn't get paternity leave, and then say, we're demonizing. No. You're demonizing gay people and saying they should have the same, they should not have the same rights as straight people. You can't demonize people and then when we point it out, go, I can't believe you're demonizing us. No, your own positions are demonizing you. <laughs> I mean, get a load of that irony, is that amazing? Uh, don't state our positions publicly, people will think we're monsters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And by the way, I didn't do it, Tucker did it. Okay, you're big, oh, Tucker Carlson, he's the one doing it, you're the one loving it. So own up to it, you hate gay people and you know that makes you un-American. You don't believe in equal rights, just own up to it. You're not, you don't like this country, you don't like democracy, you don't like equality, you don't like justice. That's why you're a right winger, just own up to it. Oh, He's demonizing us, he dies for the facts. It's true, I don't want him to have the same rights. I don't want black people to have the same rights, oh, police abuse, so what? So what? That's Tucker. Right? Well, I can't believe you're demonizing us by telling us things that are true. Trans people shouldn't play in sports. Trans people shouldn't go in certain bathrooms. Muslims should be banned. These are your positions. Don't demonize us by telling people the truth. <laughs> Shut up already. Either be a decent person and a real American 
or yes, we are going to proudly and loudly tell people what your positions are and how horrific they are. I'll get back to paid family leave, but first Bridget. I mean, of course, it's gonna sound like you're demonizing them if you just repeat back their own horrible positions <laughs> and horrible stances. You know, I think that comment is just so beyond ignorant. It's so backward, it's homophobic. And I also think it's a really good example that we see from Tucker Carlson again and again, where he is getting on television and telling his millions of viewers that the very same things that he and his Fox News colleagues enjoy is not, the American people do not deserve that. The same thing with vaccine mandates. We all know that all the different Fox News talking heads are all vaccinated and yet he gets on TV yeah. and talks about how bad vaccine mandates are. It's the same thing. Fox News employees enjoy paid paternal leave, yet he gets on TV and says that average Americans don't deserve it or if they take it, they're some sort of wuss or they're not real men. I think it's it's so see-through, it's so hypocritical and it's really just sad. It makes me so sad that he's able to go on TV and beam this into the homes of millions of Americans every night. It is so ignorant and I, I, I thought we were over this. I thought we were over casual homophobia. I thought we were over this, these casual displays of just toxic masculinity. Uh, yeah, I thought we were over it, but I guess not. At Fox News. Yeah, yeah, I, I can only imagine. Like Tucker Carlson, you know, he knows a lot of people, and I'm sure some of them are gay. They're probably giving him a real talking to, probably gonna criticize <laughs> him publicly about it. <laughs> um, and Dan Rubin, incoming in three, two, one, to tell Tucker Carlson, oh, yeah, yeah of sure. course, gay people shouldn't get parental leave. What are they best press? No, no, you're right. Bash gay people more. Where's my check? Where's yeah. my check? But they, you're 100% <laughs> right. They sure hate when you point out what they believe. Like Bill O'Reilly hated Media Matters for literally years. All they do is post clips of his show. Which is what he does, but they hate when he when they do it for some reason. I never understood that. Like you just said it. There's a camera. Right, you're looking at the camera right now. How do you not see that there's a camera? But anyway, um, yeah, no, Bridget, you make the the best point. We talked about this a lot on TDR. It's like obviously Tucker Carlson does not want other people to have paid leave, paid sick leave, paid family leave, maternity leave, paternity leave. He's not there for his base, he's there for the CEOs. In the same way that they claim to be populist, but they they like talk snidely about ever raising the minimum wage, literally ever. Um, but thankfully, it is pretty popular. Now this is America, we're not a true democracy, so it being popular doesn't mean it's ever gonna happen. But in theory, the fact that, 82% say mothers should receive paid leave and 69% say that fathers should receive paid leave. That's something, I'm not sure why the number drops off so much, but we are a population that has been trained to always believe that we deserve to be ground into the dirt and that you know getting profits for our overseers is the most important thing. And despite that, the numbers are still pretty high, but despite all of that, a 2019 study by Pew found that the US ranks last out of nearly 50 nations when it comes to parental leave. One of only three developed countries or arguably developed countries not to mandate paid parental leave, including maternity leave. Only five states in the District of Columbia require it at a subnational level. And because of this, as a result of this, one out of four American women go back to work within two weeks after giving birth. Two weeks. Yeah, that it's is madness. It's it's actually it's it's worse than that. Yeah. So, look, uh, it's so typical for Jesse Waters uh, or for really for any conservative to only realize these things when it happens to them because they they're missing the empathy gene. They have no empathy for any other human being. That's why when John referred to it earlier, when Jesse Waters had a, a baby, he came out and said, uh, "Oh, I'm in favor of uh, paternity leave. I had no idea." You could have looked into it. You're theoretically in news, right? You could have had empathy for other people, even though you were not in their situation. Megan but, McCain said the same thing. Yeah, but God forbid, that's right, Megan McCain. Until it happens to them, they, and by the way, every Republican senator that's in favor of gay rights is they're like, oh, like, oh, my son turned out to be gay. Well, I was busy hating every other person, but I don't want you to hate my son. Now I'm in favor of gay rights. Oh, well, are you not merciful, mm -hmm. right? So now on, on paid parental leave, guys, it's so in the bill that the three and a half trillion dollar bill that progressives are pushing for, there's 12 weeks of paid family leave. That would be more, that would be 12 weeks more than what we have now mm -hmm. mandated federally. We have none, zero, other countries cannot believe it. They can't believe it. Do you know how many weeks, well, I can't do the math on the weeks. Do you know how many months? Finland has off for new mothers and fathers, seven months. What? Seven months, okay? Whoa. And if you're a single parent, they say, well, take the one for the mom and the dad, 14 months, okay? Now, 
The average American doesn't get that much time off in their life. In their life. Ever, uh, uh, altogether. Like the Europeans cannot believe how barbaric America is. They're, uh, they get three months, four months, six months, seven months, uh, on average, all throughout uh, Europe, okay? When you tell them we have zero mandate, they're like, no, they can't. You mean paternity leave, even that's monstrous. You don't let the, you don't care about the dads at all? No, 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 we don't even have any maternity leave. <laughs> they're like, well, how could that be? What are you supposed to do? So now the conservatives excuse as well, some companies voluntarily give it. Now it's true, we do, right? Because we care about our employees. Um, you know how many- It's literally uh, the only reason I want kids, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> to, I, I get our, off, man. to get our paternity leave here, yeah. So, um, but so I looked into it. How many companies offer it? Only 19% of American workers are covered by any maternity or paternity leave at all. Wow. So over 80% have none of it, and you only, on average, have seven sick days the whole year for the average American worker. That means. I guess you gotta use your seven sick days to have the kid, but if you don't, if God forbid you were sick earlier, like when you were pregnant, right? The the other countries would ask us, are you serious? Like you have to go all the way till you have the baby, and the next day you have to show up at work? Yes, that's the law in America. That's how insane it is. Why are we not talking about what an amazing bill this is? Meanwhile, Fox News is out there going, huh, can you imagine? Some weak people want paternity leave after they have kids. <laughs> Back to the mines. And they pretend to be populist. Yep. And they pretend to be pro life. These are people who are always going on and on about how they're pro life. But the second that child comes into the world, where are they? They don't want what's best for what for what's gonna actually make this child's life better. We know that when children are born, it is better to have a parent in the house with them for the first few months. And you know, for a party that claims to be so pro-life, I'm so curious why they're not interested in doing what's, what we know is best for kids. Yeah, 100%. It's almost, Bridget, as if they don't care about the life of the kid as much as they care about making the women do something against their own wishes, thereby taking their freedom through government tyranny. It almost seems like that, but I'm sure it can't be because they have the exact opposite talking points. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.